Welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shell. Click on activate your cloud shell. Now it will take a couple of seconds. So just wait for that. Now just simply come on the task number one. And copy this first command. Let me just increase the text size. Okay. Now run the first command, click on authorize. Now it will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for that. Meanwhile, come on the task number two. And in task number two, we have to just run this first command and second command. Okay, so now just copy this first command and just wait for this command get executed. So it's done. Now run the task two, first command, git clone. Now it will take a couple of seconds, so just wait for this command get executed. So it's done. Now copy the second command of task number two. Copy that and run. Okay. Now please pay attention, guys. If you just type ls, you can see there is one also folder called backend. So we have to just go to that folder. So just type cd, then basic back end. Okay. Like this. And your final path must be look like this training, training data analysis, courses, cloud spanner, and backend. Like this. Now just come on the task number three. No need to perform any other task. Now from the task number three, just copy this nano dot ev command. Just copy that. Run over here. Now you are in the editor. Now just copy this command. Paste over here. Press Control X, Shift Y, and hit Enter. So that your file must be saved. From here you can just confirm it. Now just copy this command and run. Now this is going to take a couple of minutes. So just wait for that. So it's finally done and again I am saying make sure that you are in the right path called training data, courses, cloud spanner, omega trade, backend. Okay. Now we are done with this command. Now we are going to run docker build command. So just copy this command and run over here. It will again take couple of minutes. So just wait for that. So it's finally done. So we are done with the build command. Now we are going to run docker push command. So just copy this command and run. Okay, so it's done. Now run the Google Cloud 
Google run deploy command. So just copy that and run. So it's finally done. Now here you can see at bottom one called service URL. Let me just increase the text size for you so that you can just see carefully. Service URL HTTP and Omega trade backend like this. So just click on this. Op this will open in the new tab. Now just come on the task number task number four. If you just want click on check my progress. You will get a score for the task number three. Now just copy this command. Make sure you have to open this uh, URL in new tab. Okay. Now just run this command over here. Okay. It will done in a couple of seconds. As you can see, it's done. Now simply click on check my progress. So we are done with this thing. Now in the task number five, copy this first command and run. Okay. Then copy this second command, nano command and run. Now here, please pay attention guys. Here you can see the base URL. Okay, so just remove the all the content from this forward slash from here to here. Okay, like this. Okay, now your base URL must be look like this API forward slash v1. Now just copy this link, copy that, go to your dashboard and just paste over here. So at last your base URL must be look like this. Please check. If it's not looking like this, please make the changes accordingly. Okay. Now how to save this file? Control X, Shift Y and hit enter. Okay. Now let me just go to the normal size. Okay. So we are done with the, this thing also. Okay. Now just copy this command and run over here. Then copy this and run. Now it will again take couple of minutes so just wait for that.
so it's finally done and we are done with this command now just copy this docker build command copy that and run over here So it's finally done. We are done with the docker build command. Now just copy this push command and run.
so it's done now run the last command of the task number six okay just copy that and run So it's finally done now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you just click on this service url the page must be look like this just wait for a second like this okay so i hope you guys like the video i know this video is very long but yeah but this lab is very easy but time consuming i hope you guys like the video if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys